my name is Sam Giannis from Third Beat Studios, and we're back, all right? Today we are going to get into chapter two of the book of Revelation. I hope that you had a whole week to read through chapter one. In fact, we had some technical difficulties, so you may have had even longer, right? Uh, but here we are. We're on chapter two, and we're going to continue getting through this book of the Bible, right? A lot of people haven't read Revelation. They're scared of it. It's nonsense. It's fantastic, and it's a story of victory. A reminder, it's a story about our church, where we were, where we are, where we're going. So with that in mind, keep that concept uh, you know, fresh in your mind while we read this. So here comes chapter 2. To the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things says, He who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands, I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. And you have preserved and have patient, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent. And do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things says, The first and the last who was dead and came to life. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation. 10 days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. And you hold fast to my name and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was killed among you where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Thus, you also have those who hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come to you quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira, in Thyatira write, These things says the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like fine brass. I know your works, love, service, faith, and your patience. And as for your works, the last are more than the first. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you. Because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds. It's really interesting. I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts, and I will give to each one of you according to your works. Now to you I say, and to the rest in 
Thyatira, as many do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depths of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden, but hold fast what you have till I come. And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. He shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he shall be dashed to pieces like the potter's vessels. As I also have received from my father, and I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. That's chapter 2. We're getting closer. Keep God with you wherever you go. He's promised you his Holy Spirit. That is the beginning of your relationship with him. He's going to give you a reward out of the gate, which is the Holy Spirit to help guide you on your decision-making paths, right? So that your works start to look like the works of Christ. So that we begin to become an example of him. I love you guys so much. And until next week, God bless.